tonight we've got a sick video planned. It's currently 5 p.m. on Saturday. In about an hour and a half, Eric, who owns the white single turbo RX-7, is going to get here. So basically, I thought of this one a few months ago, and I've never really done a video like this with such a storyline before. But basically the gist of it is, we have managed to secure one of those LED lights, the Domino's pizza lights that goes on top of the car. So we managed to get one of those from one of you guys that follows me on Instagram. Not sure if you want to be named or not because you probably shouldn't be giving us this sign. But yeah, he works at Domino's and I put a post on my story a few months ago asking if anyone had one because I had this random idea. I can't even remember how I thought of it. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to do probably like two or three minute long film. It's going to start with my mate ordering a pizza on the app and then we're going to show Eric and his RX-7 with the light on top of his car going to Domino's, picking it up, um, you know, and then just typical sick car video, you know, boosting, sick audio, blah, blah, blah. Arrives at the house, gives uh, my mate the pizza and then drives off and we do, you know, all the, all the car driving scenes and everything. And then the final scene, which is what I've had in my head the whole time, is my mate opens the box and there's like two slices missing. And then the final shot is Eric in his RX-7, big smile on his face, eating a pizza, shifts, brah, rotary noise, fades black, like as he's bursting away. It's not like super thought out, but what we're going to do now before the shoot, which I've never actually done before, is do like a quick storyboard uh, shot list kind of thing. Just kind of preparing for it so we don't miss any of the crucial shots that we need. So... I haven't actually planned anything yet. We're gonna go downstairs to our whiteboard and sort of storyboard the whole thing and then I'll run you guys through it and we're gonna vlog the whole thing tonight. So all the behind the scenes. So this vlog will probably go up before the actual video goes up. So yeah, pretty exciting. I've never really put this much effort into the pre sort of planning stage of it before, but I think it's gonna go really well because you know, usually I just kind of freestyle it, uh, show up, we, well, at least I decide on some locations beforehand. We, you know, just get all the, all the usual shots, but this one, you know, there's more of a storyline and I want it to be quite comedic as well. So yeah, it'll be really interesting. Like I said, never really done anything like this before, but yeah, it'll be really interesting to see how it goes. So we'll go plan it out and then I'll run you guys through. Bye. Bye. So this is a lot more detailed than I thought actually, but here we have it, the storyboard for tonight. So we have the plot up here, we have individual shot lists, so I'm going to actually just write that onto my phone so I know exactly which shots we need to get. There's certain shots we need to get. If we don't do that, it just won't be, like there won't be as much depth in the video, there'll be like very similar shots. We want to get a bunch of different perspectives. And then we have some rough storyboarding, very rough drawings here. We got the plot, just the basic plot, individual shot list, there's every single shot that we need to get, there's like 25 or 30. And then, so this is it here, so we start with establishing shot of the house. My mate ordering the pizza on his phone, we're going to have Rick and Morty playing in the background. Then an establishing shot of Domino's, we're going to get some sound effects like the door chime as the door opens, like ding. Uh, and then for the RX-7 reveal shot, we're going to have Eric holding the pizza and then we walk back like this and then boom. We have the reveal shot of the RX-7 outside the Domino's store. We're going to use a Domino's store in the CBD. It's got the best lighting. Sound effects here. Eric closing the door, cold start, putting his keys in the ignition, uh, start up noises. You know, the RX-7s make heaps of little noises, all the gauges going up and stuff. We're going to get close-ups of those gauges going uh, coming up and stuff. We're going to get a bunch of side-on tripod shots or maybe some handheld shots like holding the camera here as if I was a pedestrian and I'm seeing this going past. Probably quite a lot of motion blur being like, whoa, what was that? Uh, sort of like a, a pedestrian POV. And then we've got a bunch of shots. So we're going to have the mic in the boot of the car with a little lav mic attached down by the exhaust, some flybys, some holding position shots where he stays in the same area of the frame. Uh, and then some rear shots without the mic because the mic, you can see the little... Uh, you can see the wire coming out, so we'll get some shots without the microphone on the back. We're going to do a really cool shot, which I've never done before, which is an overpass shot. So basically there's a really cool overpass up in Eden Terrace, so I'm going to stand on top of a bridge, and there's a road that goes down underneath the bridge. I'm going to stand up there, and we're going to get a shot of Eric flying through, and I'll slowly pan up or peek over that railing as he comes through, and that's really good. They bring a lot more depth, you know, it's not just rolling shots, 
and close-ups, there's some really wide shots, maybe some establishing shots of the city as well. I might even go get a time-lapse of the city if I have time this week, uh, maybe from the shore or something, just the whole skyline, that would be really cool. And then we're gonna go into the tunnel and on the harbour bridge, do some shots, uh, some side-ons, some wide, some rears. And then down on the coastal road down there, I'm going to sit in the boot and we're going to get some straight on shots. Hopefully where you can see Eric through the glass, it might be a bit tricky because it's going to be pitch black and his lights are going to be on and everything, but we'll see how that goes. Another steady shot here where we have the camera on a tripod, the microphone is still attached to the exhaust so we get a really crisp engine turning off sound. Pulls it to the house, cuts to handover at the door, Sam grabbing the pizza. Close of the pizza box, there's a few slices missing, and then Eric driving away, eating a slice, and with a big grin on his face. And then for the final shot, there's a on-ramp in Parnell where one side splits to go to the western or north, and then the other side goes south. So this is a thing that I've seen in a lot of videos uh, from US guys, I've never done it myself. We're going to start really close to the car, possibly even so close that we can see Eric, or it looks like I'm in the passenger seat of the car, and then slowly pull out. So Eric's car, you know, goes away, the, you know, the, the on-ramp sort of is a fork in the road and what he'll slowly get smaller and smaller and smaller in the frame and then fade to black and that's the ending shot. So, yeah, we got it all planned out. Hopefully it goes to plan. Um, I guess we'll have to see, you never really know of these things, but probably a good idea to plan it out properly, you know. I wouldn't have thought of half these shots if I was just freeballing it. I kind of made half the stuff up, up on the spot as I was planning it, but yeah. Uh, we'll wait for Eric to get here, he shouldn't be too long, and we'll see how it goes. I'm doing some handheld shots inside Eric's car and now we're fucking taking over this car park here um, getting ready to go to Domino's and do that scene uh, it gone pretty well so far we got some good shots of the app and the interior shots in Eric's car uh, we're just doing the handheld with the 24 1.4 and had the zoom mic on the handheld rig so moving on to the gimbal now uh, stay with the gimbal for the rest of the night and then yeah on the way to Domino's fuck off Classic this, guy, this guy keeps, <laughs> he keeps on running on the shoes. Sorry. I've noticed how Pete does it now with all his YouTube things. It's like, he's like talking and then he's like, oh, I forgot what I was saying. And then it's like perfect cut. And then he's like, continues mid sentence. And I'm like, ah, Ben, you fuck. Ah. <laughs> This right next to the exhaust, we get some super crisp audio. Some parking, a rocking, and a bit of a bit of a bit of a bargain. That was pretty sick. Is that burn 86? Ha! Fuck! I'm 
it's not, you know, white. Because I don't like these films. And they don't really, I need to come up with a beat, though. Like, I need a flow. I need a flow with the tune. Alright, do a little say something. Do you want to, I'll clip you in. Oh, here comes a police officer. He's coming. Yeah, there's a police officer coming. Uh oh, he's coming. He's gonna. 100% he's gonna get us. Fucking bursting it, man. Yo, so it's a few days after the shoot. Um, we got back that night at like 12.30 in the morning, was not the go, like just went to sleep. I was naked as. Uh, so it's a few days later now. We are just about to film the inside scene where he orders the pizza and then receives the pizza, um, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, so we filmed everything to do with Eric in the car. It was really, really fun. Um, took like five hours, like way longer than I thought, but we got some amazing shots uh, that you probably would have seen and put early in the vlog. But yeah, we'll show you guys the behind the scenes now, and I'm really hungry, so I'm looking forward to some pizza. Oh, sorry, I was expecting... Oh, Rick Parker! Oh, sorry, I was expecting... Oh, Rick Parker! It makes me sad to hear another Rick cop buying into his sensitivity training. Yeah, go. Shut up, bro. Hey. Do one of it faster, another one of it faster. Do it faster. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you gotta acknowledge that he's a <laughs> person. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, say thank you and like nod. So you're missing that? Say so thank you and nod. Uh, you're you're oh, always gonna be in that, but like. Well then why do I say thank you? Because <laughs> you can see it. You can just grab it and not say anything. <laughs> so you said that? Alright. Yeah. So your voice is gonna be like, what the fuck are we doing here? Yeah. 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 Yo, show bro. Open it. Nice. Okay, I need you to like open the box, like put the put the piece back in the box, and then I need you to like open the box and then just be like, "What the fuck?" Like, like act like you're like you know, act as if the delivery driver just ate the pizza. What the fuck? Yeah. Again? What the fuck? No, no, no. Like the whole the whole action. <laughs> <laughs> this is like professional <laughs> acting. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> go back, go back. Hey guys, uh, so I just finished editing this vlog. Um, obviously, forgot to film an outro. But yeah, that was like the funnest video to film that I've ever filmed. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the best video that I've made yet. So thanks a lot to Eric for, you know, coming along on his RX7. Thanks so much to Campbell. Uh, Burn86 on Instagram for moral support on the night. He just like met up with us in the city um, and cruised around with us. Uh, also thanks to Dean of course from Turnout for um, driving all the rollers and Sam for acting in the movie. So I can't wait to show you guys. I actually, I'm just about to start editing the film now and there's a vlog will go up in like an hour. It's Friday afternoon at 3pm right now. So I'm hoping to have the video done by the end of the weekend, we shall see. But yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys and to get stuck into this edit. If you enjoyed that video, leave a like down below, subscribe if you're not already. And yeah, have a good weekend and hopefully by the end of it, this video will be online. So yeah, take care guys, I'll see you next time.